John Baez is called Woodstock and Joy Festival. The, nobody was really thinking about the serious issues. You might say that set a tone for the future. The original Woodstock Oasis, right? If Woodstock has a future, it's now really in the hands of people who are not there. I think it's both easy and not easy for today's generation to dig it. It cannot be recreated, but it can be reassessed. What does Woodstock mean to you? It's the soul of freedom. Uh, it's uh, it's like getting get together. We got people together. It's together. It's not the word. It's all about love. It's all about realizing that we're one and the togetherness has not changed. And the thing that has evolved is all these new generations that have embraced that love and have allowed it to continue as long as it has. And the beauty and peace and harmony and none of this nonsense you hear about the negativity, none of that is here. This vibe is just beauty and love. So you know, it's just an honor to be here and very lucky to be present during this time. So. We are so happy to be here celebrating with all of you. Happy 50th anniversary to Woodstock. Woodstock. Oh man, I think of uh, the days my mom didn't have me. Right? And then I think about all the things that she won't tell me she did when you mentioned the word Woodstock. Now, I don't even know if I'm a product of Woodstock. I might even be. You know? So when I think of Woodstock, I think of exactly what you're Yeah. Peace. Everybody coming together. Peace, love, and happiness, and I'm like having the touch, like fucking freedom, freedom. You want to see Santana? <laughs> you have your parking to get in, right? You have your parking ticket to get in. Oh yeah, yeah, we're cool. You're local. Not far. Me too. We'll see you in there. We'll talk later. All right. As we drove into the Santana Doogie Brothers concert, I was thinking, instead of what does Woodstock mean to you, a better question today might be, what do you think Woodstock accomplished? Because in 2019 America and beyond, you think the answer would still be peace, love, and togetherness? Well, man, the Bethel Woods event sold out. Bethel Woods is sold out. What do you think, Joe? Is Bethel Woods well, sold out? Well, I think out? Bethel Woods is sold out, and I think we're going to sell out with them. <laughs> we're all going to sell out. Yeah, man. Tonight's the big sellout. <laughs> the Saturday sellout. Saturday sellout. I would caution anyone slinging mud at the hippie legacy to not do that without first rejecting the media hype term Woodstock generation. It's a lie. It purposely promotes the idea that this massive body of people, born between 1946 and 1964, were all working together. That's bullshit. Which in turn created the myth that a better world is not possible. And no one should ever try that again. The Doobie Brothers sound was like freedom. Like I'm free to stick it to the man. Like the same man I just voted for. I was dancing alongside Americans who grew for gun rights, who believe war is a morally wrong but fight them anyway. Americans who dig strong borders and doubt climate change. We all love the Doobie Brothers. That is far. Everything's groovy until the joy ends, and Americans get weird and indecisive. Americans born in the last 50 years, like me, wonder why life since Woodstock has never gotten more peaceful or more joyful. And so we seek out acts like the Doobie Brothers to remind us everything's okay, man. That euphoria passes, and whatever joy these experiences accomplished, it's short-lived, or like a blip in a trend line. Most Americans embrace the hippie ideals of peace and hope, a desire to make the world a better place. But the realities of the last 50 years of American history have made those ideals a little flawed. This is ground zero. As Santana took the stage, it felt as though 
time was passing like a hand waving from a train I wanted to be on. For unity and harmony, this is the real United States. I mean, Carlos is in front of me. That made me feel groovy. What he was saying was great, but, you know, I also felt sad and bad and mad. Because it still felt like America was wallowing in 50 years of nostalgia, hoping for something we've never known. And, and these sentimental joy festivals would, they, they'd never be enough. I mean, not for me. I needed out. I needed something else. Not a bullshit. Not, this is impeccable integrity. This is beauty. This is grace. This is honor. This is the Grateful Dead and Bob Marley and Miles Davis and John Coltrane. This is the real people, not superficial, artificial motherfucking liars. Spiritually speaking. So we said to you before you go, remember that you are light. Inside your heart, you are light first, middle and last. And with light, you can create miracles, blessings, and you can do the impossible. Let's bring unity and harmony into this.